This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with more than 13,000 classes taught by professionals in design, photography, and much more. You can learn many useful skills to advance your career or just have fun. Click the link in the description to get unlimited access to Skillshare for free for two months. If you like the service, then stay for around 10 bucks a month or cancel with absolutely no obligation. Click the link in the description to get started. What is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. The guy who says awesome people is back and in this video I want to show you how to create some really cool glitch overlays in Adobe After Effects. So these look really cool and can be used in many different places like music videos, promo videos, transitions and these also work for creating really cool title effects. So this is how it looks on a video file but here is how it would work on different text effects. Right. So if you're working with a project that requires you to create fast glitchy titles, uh, these can be used to do that. Uh, next is a very detailed glitch example, right? So it would never feel like a copy paste work even if you were to repeat a few variations of these and uh, this is the kind of effect that you can create and here's an interesting look uh, by using the glitch overlays as a track mat, right? So a uh, very interesting effect by just adding the glitch overlay to your text layer and changing the mat to luma mat or alpha mat, right? So uh, here is what we are going to be creating today and here is what we are going to be learning today. So these are some actual glitch overlays that I was able to create right now. And there are two variations basically, the black and white and the colored version. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the colored version but I'm going to show you my technique on how to add the color and how to get so many color variations on it and uh, you know basically doing it in a quick way, right? So without any further delay, let's get started. So I've already created my new composition. Oh, actually, just, just one more for the delay, awesome people. I have worked very hard to create some uh, 100 uh, glitch overlay pack. So you can actually purchase this from videohive.net. And uh, this is basically all the work is done for you. You just have to add them to your projects and get started working with them. So if you don't want to create these and if you have, uh, you know, you, you don't really want to learn how to make them and if you don't want to do the work to basically create them, you can, uh, you know, purchase them off of uh, videohive. And uh, this would uh, support the channel a little bit too. So if you're into it, if you can purchase it, go for it. And I'm very grateful if you if you're doing that but if not then don't worry in this video I'm going to be showing you my proper and all my different techniques for creating awesome glitch overlays so without any further delay let's get started awesome people so I'm going to create a new solid first so I'm going to name it 01 and I'm going to add a fractal noise effect to it right and I'm going to change the noise type to block so basically what we're trying to do is we are trying to create a lot of different uh, line effects like these right so uh, these kind of line effects and in order to do that we're going to change this to from spleen to block next I'm going to change actually I'm going to keep this to basic basic works for this defect and I'm going to change the contrast to say 150 okay 150 200 basically we want a nice black and white effect next I'm going to go to the transform values and I'm going to remove the check mark from uniform scaling this way I get two more options, scale width and scale height and I'm going to increase the scale width to say 8000. Right, so this way we're getting these nice line effects and if you're, if, if you're trying to create some more glitch, uh, like, like a very detailed glitch effect, uh, you know, very minute glitches, then you can actually reduce the scale height down and you will end up with this kind of an effect which looks really nice and these can be used in many different places but for now I'm going to actually keep it to about 50. So this is what I want, but you can see that there is no animation in it, there is no evolution. So we can go to the evolution settings, but the problem is that we don't want it to evolve over time. What we want is we want it to have like a different variation every time it goes like 10, 5 frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the evolution options, open this, and I'm going to add uh, an expression to the random seed. So I'm going to give it a time into 5. And basically, as the CTI moves ahead in time, every time we're going to get a different variation, right? So if we play this, it would look like a jerky effect, but uh, this is exactly what we want, right? Now, if you want a sp uh, l l like a little faster effect, you can actually increase this to say 50, and you would get this. This also looks really nice, but for now, let, let me just keep it to 5. 
now the fractal noise part is done we can actually close this off and I'm gonna add another effect to this called luma mat oh sorry the luma key my bad take the luma key effect and apply it to 0 1 and what this is gonna do is it's gonna basically punch holes in the different uh, in the in the design that we just made so I'm gonna increase the threshold from 0 to a higher number and basically this is the kind of effect you will get awesome people right and when you play this this is what it's going to look like and the black that you see over here is actually alpha so this is a transparent background so these can be actually used in premiere pro as well the actually the, the promo that uh, video that you just saw uh, was created in premiere uh, i basically rendered these in after effects took it into premiere and i was able to add these as transitions so very cool technique right and uh you can do this you can actually play around with some settings if you like so I'm gonna increase the tolerance up uh, the edge thin you can increase or decrease that but basically it's, it's basically gonna give you a little more detail and the effects right this looks nice I'm actually gonna speed up the time value so I'm gonna make this 15 and if, if you're wondering how I'm able to get it out so quickly I'm pressing the E key two times I'm selecting the layer press the E key two times and the time value the the expression value is gonna pop up right I'm gonna change this to say 20 nice this this looks really good and the thing with glitch overlays is that you need to design them uh, in frames so you can never have a layer be like a one second design you actually have to make them really really small so I'm gonna actually reduce this down to like a half of a uh, half a second right something like this right so it feels like a glitch okay this looks nice now the good thing about glitch effects is that you can actually duplicate these quite a lot and all you have to do is just increase or decrease some settings and you're gonna be done so for example in my second copy right I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to uh, say change the contrast a bit okay not, not not the contrast because the luma key is working but if I reduce the threshold some of these designs are gonna come back and I'm gonna go into transform and I can reduce these down right like this there you go right okay so this is a very cool way to create these line effects but I'm, I'm gonna show you another cool way to add some more details so we're gonna create another so I basically made another copy I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna apply an effect here called wave warp so uh, just type in uh, wave right and uh, here is the effect applied to the solid and basically what it does is that it you know makes those lines into waves and waves is not what we are looking for but you can actually make some changes in wave height and wave width and this way you're gonna get some really cool glitchy designs like these right so now if I take this and if I merge it or if I keep it on top of my uh, first and second layer I'm, I'm gonna get this effect right so this looks really nice when I've added these onto the line effects okay looks good uh, let's play around with these settings a little bit more so I'm gonna come over here and in the wave warp I'm gonna reset this and I'm going to change the wave width this time so I'm gonna ch reduce this down quite a lot until I get this effect right so very cool so it's basically using the lines it's, it's using the lines and adding it uh, 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 like basically making the wave width so small that it looks like these nice glitch effects like this right and if we merge them all together it would look like this right okay let's l l let me show you one more technique that you can do so you can basically come in wave warp and you can change the phase over here so if you were to do this you're gonna get a different design like this right and you can actually increase the wave height a little bit then if you merge this together it would look like this right so very nice it looks and this is how basically I was able to create some very interesting glitch overlays now obviously people if you want a more detailed look you'll have to mess around with this a bit but basically all of these designs have been used creating luma key effect the wave warp effect and fractal noise so looks really nice 
and uh, let me show you how to add some color to this now so say you have made your awesome glitch overlay something that you're really happy with and uh, something that works for your project okay next what you can do is you can go over here take the new go for adjustment layer uh, rename this to color right and uh, you can uh, add something called colorama so take the colorama effect apply it to the adjustment layer and boom you'll see that you're getting some really cool glitch colors but uh, what we want is we want uh, the the color to be changing all the time right so what we'll do is we'll come to the colorama effect we'll go into the output cycle and uh, there is okay wait a sec yeah there's a cycle repetitions right what we'll do is we'll add a uh, the, the the same time uh, you know expression to this so alt click on the stopwatch and add time into say 10 and this way you're gonna get this effect right so it looks like that nice uh, old retro glitch effect and if you were to mess around with this a little bit more you, you can get some very cool effects like that and then basically what this is is this is a driver effect so now you can uh, take sorry oops so so once my driver once the glitch overlay has been created you can render this out and uh, you know use it in premiere pro but if you want to use this on text effects i'm going to show the uh, show you this really quick so title 01 i'm going to take my text tool type out something say glitch made easy right i'm going to scale this up bring it in the center and now since my tutorial this is my glitch overlay right so i'm going to come over here trim the comp I'm gonna apply I'm so I'm, gonna, so I'm basically bringing my glitch overlay into another composition like this right right okay now in order to, m to, to make this work we need to uh, create one of these effects so if you're trying to create the matte effect what you can do is you can take the make sure that the glitch overlay is on top of the text layer and then go to the text layer, go to the track mat option. If you cannot see the track mat right now, go to columns and make sure that there is the modes is to, uh, tick marked on. So right click anywhere over here, columns, modes, okay? Columns, modes. And change the track mat to alpha mat. And this way you're gonna get this effect, right? So very cool for intros, very cool for revealing text, very cool for revealing logos. So you can do the same thing with logos and uh, it would work really well uh, if you want to create something um, like this right what you can basically do is you can use uh, an adjustment layer and map and apply an effect on it called displacement map so take the displacement map apply it to the adjustment layer and uh, change over here the uh, where it says okay so where it says a displacement map layer change it to the glitch overlay so for my it's tutorial for you it can be glitch overlay 01 it can be something else that you may have named your comp and then you can just change these settings and what you'll see is you're getting this right so very cool and what you can do is you can add like a scale animation to this uh, right and this is what it would look like so very easy to create these and uh, they look really good they look really really nice so uh, thank you for watching this video awesome people and I hope you guys learned something I hope you guys uh, learned how to create some really cool uh, glitch overlays I hope you uh, like the coloring technique also on this right and uh, this looks nice to me so thank you for watching this video and uh, i will see you all in the next video big shout out to skillshare for sponsoring today's video uh, go check them out uh, and i will see you next time